January 1992. Scott, I still have expect to look in my mailbox someday and find a letter from you telling me that you're well and happy and that you still miss me. Of course, it could never happen since you don't really exist. My own existence is tenuous, in fact. I died the moment I relinquish authorship of my narrative. Nothing seems to matter. I left my will, my desire, my dream in your tiny, unkept apartment. I wasn't really even in your apartment. I tried sending a letter there. I saw the address on the side of the building, but it came back address unknown or not found. I never told James about you, Scott. I told him that we met in a bar and that you tried to pick me up. You did. But I never told him that I went back to your apartment. He would think me reckless and promiscuous, therefore less attractive as a potential life partner. Your disappearance has made it lots easier for him to deal with this great ghost story, which really happened. We actually looked for your name in the Las Vegas telephone directory in August. Needless to say, your name wasn't to be found. I thought it odd to have James join me in a search for a ghost for whom I cried for months and almost did today.